Problems in childhood such as anxiety, depression and conduct disorder are common. In the US, the likelihood of having one or more such problems is greater than one in ten. Researchers at King's College London are looking into the causes of these childhood problems and asking, to what extent is it down to our DNA? In this study, we compare two different ways of estimating how important genes are in influencing individual differences in childhood behaviour problems. The first method is the traditional twin design, um, which compares identical with non-identical twins. And the second method is DNA-based heritability, which only looks at specific measured DNA differences between people and estimates how important they are in influencing individual differences. We found that twin heritability was really substantial at around 52%, whereas DNA-based heritability was negligible. We expect DNA-based heritability to be a lot lower than twin-based heritability, and that's because for the DNA-based method, we only look at a small subset of possible DNA differences between people um, that are common differences. Even considering that it was still um, strikingly low um, DNA-based heritability. So this suggests there's something a bit funny going on with childhood behaviour problems in particular. I think this research has really big implications for um, future studies that are seeking to find specific DNA variants that influence the development of childhood behaviour problems. And that's because those studies also only consider this small subset of DNA differences that we measure. Luckily, there are quite a lot of um, directions that future research can take. We can increase our sample sizes to try to, to um, have a higher chance of detecting DNA-based heritability. We can also look at the role of DNA differences that are less common. Um, and another thing we can do is to look more carefully at how we're measuring um, childhood behaviour problems. We can try to uh, tap into a more um, heritable aspect of these traits. The ultimate goal, I think, is to not only know more about um, specific variants that are involved in the development of childhood behaviour problems, but to be able to use these um, genome-wide DNA-based methods to predict and prevent childhood behaviour problems.